Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. So today's video is gonna be different than normal. It feels really weird and hard to talk about anything right now besides what's going on because it's such obviously a major thing. It's a global pandemic. And with the way that my family is, we run three different businesses. We have our gym, CrossFit Q, we have Fruitables, which is a restaurant, and then my mom has a retail store, Willow and Grace. Then me and Haley also run our online um, nutrition coaching business. Anyways, we have been really struggling for the past couple of days, making really hard decisions on, you know, closing our gym. Sorry, I'm moving this out. Things like closing our gym temporarily until this thing gets under control, until we're allowed to open again, um, limiting our hours and doing takeout only at Fruita right now. But again, everything's changing day by day, so I don't know how long that will go. And then my mom's uh, retail store is temporarily closed. So if you're like struggling and this is really like a hard time for you, if you're out of work, if you just have like a lot of stuff going on, your stress is causing you anxiety, I feel you. It has been for me too. I'm usually not an emotional person. I've already cried like multiple times over this. And we're all just trying to figure it out. So what we're doing for our gym is we are hosting online like Zoom meeting classes. So we do a Zoom uh, link that our classes can run four times a day that way our coaches are still able to coach and get paid through that it's not everything but it's at least something and then that way our members are also getting that interaction and face to face with us so I figured I would vlog myself today doing the class um, I didn't coach any classes today because I actually did work those limited hours at Fruita for takeout only so I'm going to do the 6 p.m. class which Mark is running earlier they ran a few of the classes out of the actual gym just to kind of get like situated and make sure it was okay and then we're actually going to try running the first class at home tonight so the 6 p.m mark is going to do that in our living room i'm going to do it behind him so i figured i would vlog a couple minutes of me doing the at home workout that way if you guys need a workout to do and you're at home you can try this too um you can follow along you can do either body weight options or you can do something like a dumbbell a kettlebell or something at home whether it's like a laundry detergent jug, a water jug, whatever. You can use different stuff. And you can keep watching this video. I really don't know how this is gonna go. I wasn't planning on doing this at all, but I just decided, you know, what the heck, I'll pull out my camera and see. All right, see you in my living room. What's up, Truly? <laughs> Tru Wait, how many? How many are we gonna be doing? We're measuring ours right now. All right, where will you, where will you be? I'm just gonna be right here. All right, so maybe go this one. Just go, just go 12 feet. Or do you want to try to get 12 feet? Yeah, no, I'm saying, so I'm not running into you. If you're going to be sitting there, I'll go in a diagonal. No, you can go right here. Thumbs up, you guys are back, give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready to roll. And squat, five hands in push ups, 25 foot pair crawl. Three, two, one, crossfit it! I'm done the workout. I was really sweaty. Fixed my hair a little bit. Still can get handstand push up hair even if you're not at the gym. So what the workout was was five or oh my god, I already forget. Mark, what was it? Oh, it was ten, ten squats. Ten squats. You could do just a regular air squat, or if you wanted to add some weight, whatever you have at home, bag of rice, jug, potatoes. whatever. Yeah, potatoes. I okay. used actually a 20 pound dumbbell that we had. You hold it, held it like a goblet squat. 10 of those, five handstand push-ups or any scale. So a scale could be like a pike push-up on the floor, an elevated pike push-up with your feet on the bench and trying to get inverted like a handstand. If you can do a handstand against the wall in your house, that's fine too. 
or you could do a regular push-up if you needed. Um, and then after five of those, it was either a 25 foot bear crawl, which I did do. I measured out 12 and a half feet down and back in my kitchen and living room. Or you could do 12 mountain climbers if you didn't have enough room for the bear crawl. But it was fun. I got 12 rounds. I got to see everyone in our class and it just really changed my day around for the better. Working out makes you forget about all the crazy stuff going on in the world for sure. Love it. Yeah, he loved it. Dude, I will do that any day of the week. It's just amazing. I love... Our members. Our members. I know. Seriously. Like, we have the best members in the world. Amazing. Literally, CrossFit Q. If you're a member and you're watching this. They're amazing people. You rock. That's it for today. I'm keeping it short and just want to show you guys my first home workout that I literally did in my living room. Yes, I had one 20 pound dumbbell, but you could do every, anything you wanted. A sack of potatoes, literally. Someone used a bag of rice, whatever you have for your squats. Any type of push-up that can be modified for the handstand push-up and then a bear crawl or a mountain climber, which you always have room for a mountain climber. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you stay safe and healthy during this crazy time. And just remember, fitness is always available no matter what resources you have. You can do it in your own home, all body weight movements, or just use things around the house, a backpack, whatever it is. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that button down below, give me a thumbs up, let me know how you're feeling, what you're thinking during this time, if you're doing home workouts, a workout that you enjoy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!